since 1974. Charles de Gaulle International Airport opened. Eric Clapton launched I Shot the Sheriff. But the most important thing, I was born. With a temple of 10 boys, nothing could stay in my way. I Shot the Sheriff was guiding me from the background. Six years later, my brother was born. Small, fragile, and with velvet hair, he was the light of my mother's eyes. But I did not like him. Few months later, I sneaked to his crib and said, Hey, you! I am the sheriff here! And I protected my authority during the next years. We fought so hard that the independence war looked like a joke compared to ours. By the age of 12, I felt that my position as a respectable sheriff was seriously jeopardized. So I called in my little brother. Hey, you! I am the sheriff here. My brother looked at me and said, You are the sheriff? Can I be the deputy? Yes, you can. So we sealed the deal. Years later, I decided to redecorate my room. I moved by myself a big wardrobe downstairs. I was pushing and pulling and turning. I got stuck. So I started yelling. Guess what? Two seconds later, the wardrobe became light as a feather. There was my little brother, two meters tall and 140 kilo. Thank you, brother. You saved my life. Sis, I am the deputy and I will always be there for you. Yes, but I'm still the sheriff. Time went by and our lives evolved. He had his own family and I started mine. I got married. My first child was born and the second one. Stars lit up in my sky exactly the way I wished them to be. My youngest son turned two when I noticed something unusual. First, he started to walk on his toes and rotate objects. Then he lost visual contact. And finally, he turned speechless. We decided to see a doctor and the diagnosis came as a punch in my stomach. Autism. I froze. And the stars in my sky lit up. That was a burden too heavy for my husband. He left. I felt devastated and I couldn't breathe. And in that endless silence, phone rang. It was my brother. Mom told me what happened. How are you? I told him exactly how I felt. Furious, helpless, lonely, and finally cried. He listened to me patiently and he said, come on sis, be the man your husband cannot be. Get up, you are the sheriff. His words were revealing and that was healing. He gave me power when I got up and picked up the broken pieces. He, he was my companion when I started learning about autism. He stood with me through thick and thin. He left no stone unturned just to make sure that I'm doing well. My brother, 
my deputy gave me back my sheriff hat. Fellow sheriffs, always remember your family is your deputy. Whenever you are stuck, your deputy will make the obstacles feel like feather. Whenever you encounter difficulties, your deputy will give you strength to overcome them. And whenever you are alone, your deputy will be your companion through thick and thin. For all you sheriffs out there, remember, the deputy will always be there for you. Sheriff Contest Chair, 